It's on um, a clock tower in uh, St. Mary's, uh, or I should say Queen Mary's University in the east of London, east end of London. Um, and the clock tower itself is a sort of a monument to the guy who financed the setting up of the university, uh, a Baron de Stern. He was a bit of a philanthropist. They're seemingly not really sure about the symbolism of this particular plaque, but um, it's thought to um, represent the, the Bay of Portugal, which the Stern had a, a fascination with, apparently. So um, this may be the, the sun setting on the Bay of Portugal, but it seems a little bit um, shrouded in mystery, maybe as regards the symbolism of it. Well, I'm commissioned by an artist colleague um, whose name is Grace Weir and uh, Grace does a lot of film and you know uh, media work as, as part of her practice so she ha in turn has been commissioned um, by Queen Mary University to make this film mm -hmm. about time um, you know quite a, a technical film I guess about the nature of time and she's working with people in the physics department there so uh, she just sees this plaque as a kind of a symbol I guess for the passing mm. of time and it does have this motto on a time trieth troth. Troth is uh, loyalty or fidelity oh. so it's the idea is that time tests loyalty and yes. this is it's a quotation uh, that's found in Shakespeare's Tempest, in the Tempest. Uh -huh. uh, so that obviously has a, a significance as well. But how that exactly ties in with the imagery, uh, we're not sure, but it does refer to time. But of course you've also got other aspects of time going on. I mean, carving is a very time-consuming uh, process, I guess. So there's the, you know, the the story of the carving from start to finish and uh, obviously we're dealing with geological time as well in, in terms of the formation of the stone that I'm working on. That's it's great. a kind of limestone. Um, by uh, uh, a nice coincidence it's uh, actually is Portuguese limestone so if it is the Bay of Portugal that ties in quite nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it would have probably been formed uh, about um, 300 million years ago, that kind of time scale. So we're, mm. you know, we're really going, we're going back in far in time um, in terms of, you know, the, the Earth's formation with when we work with stone as well. Mm. So even in a few millimetres of stone, you're talking about millennia of, of time. So I guess there's that connection as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the film and actually seeing how it how it all ties in. I mean, I'm not the the author of it by any means, so uh, I'm just doing my little part of it here, and we'll see how it how it ties in with the physicists and, and Grace's vision of of time as well. I think there will be some kind of a, an exhibition at the launch of the film, and Grace is quite keen to get it shipped to London for that event but whether it'll stay there or come back or what will eventually become of it um, I don't know. It would be nice if they fell in love with it and decided to uh, give it a place of prominence in the, in the campus. <laughs>